Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is RP Hoves, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I like to do fashion and beauty videos. And for today's video, I have a fashion video. It's gonna be a review on the Dior, the high top obliques. I've been wearing these for a hot minute now and I thought it was time to do a nice little review on it since I have been wearing it to filth. I literally just cleaned it so if it's not as white as they should be, my apologies. I've just been enjoying the shoes so much. I really wanted to unbox this, but I can't unbox it for you because I've wore them to filth. But I'm going to show you guys the shoes um, and give you a little review on them because I am absolutely in love with them still. So, all of the prices up there. They are not in the prettiest condition as your designer shoes, I can't speak, your designer shoes should be in. The first day I wore these to school, I tripped and I stepped in some berry-like thing that fell off the tree and my entire shoe was purple. You would think like someone like vomited wine on my shoes, that's how bad it was. And thankfully, they are white again. Anyways, um, bam. Here they are, my Dior high top obliques. These are men's shoes, but luckily they do come in women's sizes, but you will not find them in the women's department. It's strictly in men's. I decided to go with the white because for some reason, I don't like black shoes, and especially if I'm wearing black from head to toe, it really makes me feel depressed. Like I, can, I think it's when I wear black, like head to toe, it just, I'm not happy. And I, <laughs> I think my clothes reflect my mood which is not cute. Let me grab some details for you guys. So online, these are called the B23 High Top Dior Oblique Sneakers, as you can see. You have white cotton laces, you have white technical canvas lining, you have white rubber pull tab right over here, you have two-tone white and black rubber sole right over here and here, and you have the textured Dior signature right here, welded construction, whatever that means. And these are made in Italy, and look how gross the bottoms are. There's little bees on there, or wasps. I believe that's Dior's signature situation. Um, so they're mesh white. You can see all of the Dior sign, Dior logos, oblique logos. And there's this air pocket here, I believe. I don't even know what they are. I'm gonna assume it's an air pocket. But on the other side, it doesn't have the black and white it's just all white what i really really like about these sneakers is that they're comfortable they are the most comfortable designer sneakers i have and they don't crease which is cute and the one thing i don't like about the structure is that they look like converse so they're overpriced converse but she's cute that's literally all i can say she's cute they're cute these do fit true to size. It's the first time I wore them. Um, I wore them with low socks. I recommend wearing socks that cover your ankles because as you walk in them, this right here is going to tear your ankles. And I mean tear. They hurt so bad, they started bleeding. Or I just have really sensitive feet. If I could buy every single pair of these oblique sneakers, I really would. I really want the pair with the, um, what is it called? The newspaper print, which I will post a photo right here. I believe the price is ridiculous on this, but when you love something and it's imprinted in your heart, you need to go get it. Um, the retail price on these was $1,100. But my shoes live in this box, and I really, really, really like this box out of all of the designer boxes there are because... It's just so cute. Dior boxes are just completely different to me. You have this textured box, blue, with the silver Dior. The tissue doesn't say Dior, but... They're kind enough to give you an extra pair of laces, which is great. No other brand does that. And then, of course, you have your dust bag, which matches the box. I ordered these at the Topanga Nordstrom, but they came from the Nordstrom Men's Store in New York City. With tax and everything, it came out to $1,204.50. And I bought these on 12-01-2019, so these were my 
present to myself for the holidays. So if you guys want a pair of these Dior sneakers, I highly recommend them. They are one of my greatest purchases I've ever made when it comes to shoes. I know I say that all the time about my bags, but let me tell you, let me put you on. If you can go buy yourself a pair of Dior sneakers, please do. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next time with another video. Um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, I understand because I did ramble a lot. Anyways, 